We all know that flies can be very annoying for us human beings and for our chickens. And also flies can bring diseases to your chickens. That is why you like or it is recommended to control the flies in your chicken house. Flies can spread diseases such as salmonella. So anytime you see flies at your chicken house, you should be cautious that there might be spread of diseases and which may lead potentially death of your chickens. So what are we going to talk about this video? I'm going to show you what attracts flies at your farm. What diseases do these flies usually spread in your chicken flock? How are we going to prevent these flies from coming to our chicken farm? And finally, I believe what you guys have come to see is how to make this natural repellent for our fries for the fries not our fries for the fries so that you can protect our chickens so i would request you to subscribe to this channel like this video so that we get right into this video so the first thing is what usually attack attracts these fries you should know that during the warmer weather flies are more prone to come to your chicken house so during the summer that is why when, you, when you'll you know you'll start seeing an increase in number of flies and having good management might, might eradicate such an increase but there are factors that even if you manage your chicken very well the flies will still come and these are like four factors the first thing is having an accumulation of droppings chicken droppings will generally bring fries at your farm second thing is wet patches and when you know when you when, when at the drinkers usually that area is usually usually wet so that condition might also attract fries the other thing is having food scrub food scrub so if you're a bucket chicken farmer possibly you are you might be giving the kitchen lefuses so having such kind of feeds for your chicken may also attract the you know the fries and also i'm going to show you how you're going to reduce chicken fries or the fries you know when you when you'll be doing some kind of thing and also the final thing is that having wet feeding so possibly you are giving the soft feeds so you may see some increase in fries compared to other farmers so what diseases do these fries cause because that that is what exactly makes them bad or not attractive for farmers apart from the annoyance of having fries all over you are air yeah, distracting or distract your chickens there are three diseases that fries might cause to your chickens the first one is Clostridium botulinum so what happens is that when you are feeding the chicken scraps or the feed scraps from the kitchen life uses fries will come and lay eggs on those on those the feed scraps and when they lay eggs these eggs will hatch and form maggots so these maggots will lead to an increase in bacteria in these feeds and these bacteria will lead to an increase in toxins in the feeds so when the chicken eats such kind of feeds with higher increase in toxin levels that will call a condition called botulism that's how the botulinum is usually usually affects the chickens and this botulinum will make your chicken paralyzed and may also cause death at your chicken or some of the chickens may start dying so that's one cause or one disease that usually this chicken fries or the fries usually bring to a chicken. The second one is salmonella. Salmonella is a disease that usually affects both chickens and it might be spread to human beings. So be cautious about having fries at your chicken farm. And the final disease or condition is called the chicken fry strike so as you as you're going to remember i've told you that the house fry will come and lay eggs at the chicken scraps at, at the yeah at the kitchen scraps so when this eggs hatch they're going to you know to become maggots so these maggots usually eat the chicken how does that happen so for example your chicken are experiencing carnality you know cannibalism so it so your chicken might have wounds on the face or also it may you know it may have a prolapse coroaca so the maggots will attack those areas those open wounds 
and the maggot will start eating the chicken. Can you just imagine that? The maggot will start eating, eating the chicken while the chicken is still alive. That's crazy. So that's that condition called the fly strike. So how are we going to prevent these flies from being present at our farm? Remember, I'm also going to tell you how to kill them or make them repellent away from our farm apart from applying these strategies of prevention. So, the first thing is that hygiene. Ensuring that your chicken farm has the highest hygiene standards. So, anytime you see, you know, that possibly you can be washing the feeders every day, changing the water, at least having a better place in which the chickens can live having a good ventilation air avoid dampness for your chickens so generally anything about cleanliness ensure that your chicken farm is clean the second thing is avoid chicken dropping accumulation most especially when you have the patches that's where you should find most of the feeds or most of the droppings so try and see how you can control the move those droppings as soon as possible at least Every day, you can you know? I think that it's possible. You can remove the excess or the accumulation of the chicken droppings so that you avoid the flies from coming. The other thing is that changing wet waiters. So, for example, maybe you drop a drinker, or maybe your chickens have you know have turned down the drink and poured the water all over the rita. Suppose to change that rita. Just collect that rita, then replace that you know that wet rita. With new dry litter so that to avoid the dampness which may lead to having fries at your farm the fourth and final thing is that by removing leftover feeds as i told you some farmers are doing backyard farming chicken farming and they are giving their chickens the chicken lefices all those leftover feeds so when you give these leftover feeds you're supposed to give this you know to your chickens for at least 20 minutes and I, I believe that after that you see that the chickens are not eating anymore they have just you know at the first time they usually so all over the place eating pushing one another but after a few hours or a few minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes you may see that the chickens have started to just throw it around without eating so it's supposed to collect that feeds so that to avoid so that to avoid the flies coming to lay the eggs there and possibly having the eggs hatch and the and the and the maggots now will attack your chickens and even cause increasing toxins which may cause botulism as we have previously talked about that so how do we make this natural plant repellent this repellent, repellent is specifically i'm going to make it with cayenne pepper cayenne pepper so this kind of pepper you're going to get five finger sized cayenne papers They're just like this like eight centimeters yeah that size but at least finger size bigger cayenne papers and then five of them and then you're going to brand this cayenne papers and then after you brand you can if you possibly have some ginger you can use ginger you can add more ginger yeah you can add more ginger to this kind of paper if you possibly have but if you don't have it no worries we can use the cayenne paper alone so after you blend the cayenne paper those five finger like cayenne papers you're going to add one liter of water or three cups and a half you know the medium or the normal size cups or you can add one liter of water let's let us work with the letters so we're going to mix this to the powder or the cayenne paper which has been blended and you know mix very well that mixture and then put it in us you know i think you can sieve yes you're supposed to sieve so that you to avoid blocking the nozzle of the sprayer that you're going to use when spraying all over the place where the you know possibly places that may attract the flies so now that's more about about that so you have discussed about how you're going to filter that remember that filter that and then over the dosages, five finger-sized cayenne papers and one liter of water and then mix very well. Yeah, and believe that is going to help you reduce the number of flies at the chicken farm so that we avoid the challenges that we have discussed previously. So click on this video on this playlist here to learn chicken farming from A to Z.